It's pre-season training time for the Warrington Wolves. And while rugby players have long been taking care of their physical health, focus is increasingly shifting to mental well-being. When rugby league international Terry Newton committed suicide in 2010, a group of rugby-loving mental health practitioners launched an initiative to destigmatize mental health issues among players and their fans. What we did is we actually asked supporters if they'd come to a mental fitness program. Uh, we asked supporters on the terraces whether they would do that. We asked them where they would come and where would they feel comfortable. And every witness, Warrington and Salford all said they'd like to come to the stadium. The dressing room's an ideal location because people have a, an interest to be in there and using former sports people to talk about mental fitness is, a, is an ideal hook for people. 75% of suicides in the UK are committed by men and the charity behind the offload programme says this is partly due to men being less likely to seek help. For one participant who was suffering from depression, these special fixtures have had a powerful impact. To actually hear it coming from people that you could relate to just by the nature of, the, of, of rugby league made it even more special. And obviously some of the discussions and the ways the way they suffered and the, the different mechanisms they've used to, to help them cope better obviously benefited, benefited myself. Passes, 1100 passes. Former players and coaches draw on their own experiences to teach coping strategies, mindfulness and anger management. They use sports terms such as mental fitness rather than mental health to encourage the men to share. Ian Smith is a former Super League referee who says years of being the sport's pantomime villain took a toll. But every time I tell my story, every time we get the feedback from the guys, it's like my own therapy class. You know, it makes me feel ten foot tall, I have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Three rugby Super League teams in England's North East are currently offering offload sessions. The charity has also been invited to run workshops with Manchester United and West Ham football clubs, as well as at some Gaelic football clubs in Ireland. It hopes that other sporting communities will roll out similar programmes to help even more men to take a weight off their minds.